If you could flip one switch, just one switch, to stop this ecocidal mania and save our planet for future generations, what would you pick? No more cars, or maybe renewable energy for all? Those would be very, very good picks, but I'm not convinced they would do the trick. Apart from the fact that there would be all kinds of other environmental problems that would not have been resolved, there's the fact that sooner or later I think that we would ruin it all again. Because our culture, literate culture, doesn't know enough not to. So the most useful switch would be one that undid the psychology of destruction altogether. I think the switch I'd choose would be Earth Empathy. Because if we all understood that we have a profound relationship with the Earth, that she takes care of us, and that we need to take care of her with the same generosity that she offers us, we would not be making the sorts of destructive environmental choices that we do. Though I might choose a different switch, another one that would trump the psychology of destruction, that would be sustainable systems. Specifically, I'm talking about environmental sustainability and digital systems. Because if digital systems were eco-friendly and eco-oriented, then their hyper-efficiency would certainly overpower the ecocidal systems which currently rule us, but which are far less efficient, and so would save us all. But I can't imagine that any of these switches will ever get flipped, at least not on their own. There's no reason to think that they'll happen that suddenly we'll all start to become more empathetic with the Earth, or that digital entrepreneurs and programmers and designers will suddenly all start building environmentally friendly, ecocentric systems. I don't think so. Unless, perhaps, they both happen, and they both happen because of each other. Yesterday, in part one of this book, I said that relationships between oral and digital cultures must be grown through experiences, conversations, and relationships. And that they can be, because both oral and digital cultures are built around dialogues, unlike literate culture, which is all about monologues. And as a result, both oral and digital culture share collaborative values. I also said, I would try to provide a reusable architecture, some magic beans to help kickstart those relationships and flip those switches. So here goes. We need you digitalists who are building our network future to commit to the earth so that you may build us a sustainable future. Partly, this means understanding the massive scale of the problem and the extraordinary scope of the opportunity to solve it but it first means empathizing with the Earth. The Earth within you and the Earth without. The Earth that gives you life and that today really, really needs your help. And you will solve these problems, our problems, brilliantly. I know you will. I have absolutely no doubt about it because the destructive systems you'll be challenging are very old-fashioned and inefficient and you can do much, much better. But first, you have to want to. First, you have to care. And the best way that I know to flip the Earth Empathy switch is to immerse yourself in an Earth culture for a while. An hour, a day, a week, a year. Start with a walk in the woods. And then maybe volunteer at an organic farm, milk a few cows, find out where your food comes from. Or go to a native powwow and jingle dance, or just dance. Maybe find an elder and invite them into your home. Listen to her. Look for them in the green jungles or urban jungles. Search meat. Reach out your hand, your actual hand. Touch something ancient and understand. I'm ready to flip the switch. Are you? Yeah.